So this one's Gwyneth. Oh, I guess I didn't one. take enough. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Gwyneth's oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. get in my lane. Just give me the time and give me the place. Taking the name and no one can stop me. I ain't afraid. I'm going in Rocky. And it's a shame they all want to copy. But ain't no way to know the copy. What's going on, everybody? I uh, hope you're having a great morning, great day, whatever time it is. I am currently heading to Ottawa to do some stuff for my son. Uh, he, since he's getting ready to go to school, uh, he's not going to school in Ottawa, but we need to go there for to do some like notoriety. I don't know. I'm not sure. His mom took care of all that. I'm not good with that stuff. So it is currently 10, just past 10.30 in the morning. It takes around two hours to get there. So, uh, this is gonna be a fun drive. storm coming. Don't mind that bird poop. <gasps> Somebody got a haircut. Uh, I think you might have a haircut. Yeah. yeah. A big one. Yeah? A big haircut. Yeah, Alright, let's head back to Kingston. Okay, so we are heading to an alpaca farm today. Let's go and see this. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, hey, where are we going? Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, my house. No. No. I don't know. We're going to see alpacas. <gasps> Do you know what an alpaca is? Take the next left. On I don't know. Street. What is you can it? feed them too. They're like llamas. Oh yeah. yeah. They don't spit. They don't spit. They no. don't spit. Oh, that's good because I don't like to spit them. You feed them? I want to see the babies. So you keep them looking nice. Hey, after all. Hi. Keep them Hello. <laughs> Best welcoming committee ever. You said you'll be right out. Hello. Hi. Hi. I took the residents from the uh, Windsor. That's a big dog. Hello. For our trip here. And that's how I told Sheila, and she was all she wanted. I was jealous. I'm like, I want to come too. Right? Yeah. Like, I wanted to come. Yeah. Hello. So I've been here before. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're getting some gumming, Brandon. Hi. Yeah, we have to Hello. wait. We have to wait for the This is for, for indeed one of the guard dogs for keep the coyotes away from the alpaca. Oh. But as you can see, he's not ferocious. <laughs> he likes oh, to he's oh. coming to give you kisses. <laughs> he's a very Say hello. Hey. He's got a brother, Dexter. You're okay, buddy. Wow. And they, they exist to keep oh. <laughs> the Hey. Hey. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Hi, everybody, okay? Hi. 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 It's okay, buddy. <gasps> Hello. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at over here. There's the babies. Look at, those are the babies. Wow. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. We were built here in 1998. This was a oh. farmer's field. Oh. We came here. He's, he's, he's telling you a story. No, no, it's okay. So we built this in 1998. It's, uh, it was a farmer's field. And uh, the farmer had offered me two different plots of land. I bought 35 really? acres here. He had oh, some wow. other acres. And I... Went for a walk in the bush and I found an old falling down sugar shack. And I said, Do you make maple syrup? He said, I have I've owned the farm for 45 years and never tapped a tree. I said, I'll take this piece right here. Because <laughs> this is the whole sugar bush from the old farm. Wow. So wow. That's, what I, that's what I got. So oh, I love wow. it. So I love making maple syrup. Yeah. Oh that's drinking in the pond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, 
my daughter lives in New Zealand, and for three years she tried to get married in Canada and couldn't because of COVID, she couldn't fly home. That's true. Oh. So she was stuck. She lost her deposit two years in a row. Oh my gosh. So the third time she said, can I just have a flight <laughs> for the wedding day? Perfect. Oh yeah. Because Karen's in a wheelchair, so this is all accessible to us. So oh. Wow. So where you're walking, this, I walked her down this way. And between the two barns were the tents for the wedding. Oh. That's awesome. And of course, them all. <laughs> Well, on are the way you, back with me. Have, okay? have that one right yeah. now. Eat that one right now. Okay, you won't go too fast. We'll eat it now. No, it's okay. And then we'll get more ladies. Okay? <laughs> you can really hear them in there. Eat it. Eat it real. America domesticated about 7,000 years ago for their fiber because they wove clothing. That's how they got their clothing. And so they sheared them. And these have been sheared on the 17th of May. And I'll show you what that looks like when you share them. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, and they, uh, the, these are all registered females. Uh, the males are kept in a separate pen or a separate pasture, so they don't try to breed them all the time. Because you really want them to be bred in the summer. It takes 11 months for the, for the gestation. So you want them to be born the following summer so they have time to grow fiber before winter. Oh, keeps them warm, true. Yeah. yeah. And so we shear them in May as soon as the nights are too cold. And that gives them lots of time to grow. And about five or six of those are pregnant uh, oh, wow. from last year. Oh, wow. So they'll be having a baby probably the next two to three weeks. Wow. And when they have babies, they only have one at a time, I typically. Can't... Twins are very rare. And Is it uh, dangerous for them to have twins? Yeah, it is. It actually, yeah. it's not. It means there's something probably wrong with the animal. Oh, Quite okay. often it means it's got a defect. In, in, oh, wow. Sometimes oh. they're more blind when they're twins and mm. stuff like that. So yeah. We've never had twins, and we don't want them. Yeah. But yeah. they uh, only have their babies in daytime, which oh. is also nice. Very. <laughs> we used to have sheep here. Karen used to have 100 sheep here. Oh, wow. And she, they went day and night having lambs. Yeah. But these guys are pretty civilized that way. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. When they're born, in about 10 minutes, they can stand up. And wow. in about an hour, they're walking, and probably within four hours, they're learning to run. Oh, and the wow. next day, you'll have to catch them. trying to catch a rabbit. Just... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they, they go very, very fast. Wow. Um, now, why can't human babies grow like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, did you just have one for start? You just had no, one? No, you, you, they're a pack animal, so you can't buy them individually because oh. they actually will develop behavioral problems by themselves. So we need to have other animals with them. Okay. So we got into alpaca. Well, how do we get into sheep first? We got into sheep because Karen was a girl guide leader. I have four kids. Two of them are girls a year apart. They all went to girl guide camp. They all came back with a bottle fed baby lamb. Oh, oh my goodness. Started with three lambs. And before I know it, there was 100 sheep. And plus the lambs being born, we'd have 250 animals. Here. And Karen, Karen did it all. She built all of these barns. She could do all that stuff. She had to buy a pair of them. So she bought four. Four. Well, she went to buy four. She came home with eight. <laughs> <laughs> because she said, I got a great deal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, well, you know, after we sold the block of sheep off because because of the MS and she couldn't walk anymore, yeah. um, she said, um, well, four or five years ago, I missed the barns are empty. We need some animals again. She said, how about alpacas? I said, sure. And, ah, that's wow. when, and she started with eight, and now we have 29 of them. If you look I at the difference between knows. llamas and alpacas, an alpaca's head is about our height. A llama's head is higher they're a bigger animal they're they're related in that you can actually breed a llama to an alpaca and get a, a crossbred animal mm. and uh the llamas are more aggressive they're used as guard animals in sheep flocks yeah. you'll see the, a couple of llamas they are very aggressive to spit yeah. yes and to chase dogs so do all of those sorts of things and alpacas won't do that so, oh. an alpaca spits it tends to be spitting at another alpaca because they've got too close to their feed uh, so oh. as you're feeding them something you hear one will spit at the other say <laughs> back off this is my food <laughs> so you'll see that yeah. the only time you'll ever get spit at if you get caught in the crossfire we're gonna feed well we sheared them in, the, in may and what we do with that is we then have to clean every fleece by hand Can you open? and that takes about a day per animal to do and, stop. and then we ship it off to a mill and then it comes back as yarns and then from the yarns we have some knitters in the village and they actually knit mitts and hats and, oh, and karen right. pays them to knit and they love it and oh, so, that works wow. yeah. so you put your hand flat like this you're gonna do it you're gonna put your hand flat no yeah. you want to help us you gotta put your flat yeah. like do you that help daddy do you want to watch yeah. 
Okay. We're gonna go see them. We'll try. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. And, and so they, he may come they, around when mm -hmm. he gets if there. If you feel their teeth, just the bottom teeth, and they're using the spoons to scoop. They're not oh. trying to bite you, but sometimes they'll go in very fast. <laughs> yeah. get, oh, but it's not trying to bite you. Right. It's okay. Not, and I find same thing with alpacas and dogs, for that matter. Let always let the animal come to come you. To you. Yeah. That's their comfort zone. You yeah. going after them mm -hmm. makes them want to back off yeah. or stand and, and fight. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. So they must be the males over there, anyway. Uh, uh, there, those are the two studs. There's a third stud in the next field over. He's up by the trees right now. Uh, he's been kept from the other two because he fights with them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, just watch it. Watch. Hey, girls! <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's yeah, calling them in, eh, buddy? <laughs> uh, <gasps> hey, she is a friendly one. Hey. Look! Oh, that's Samantha. That's Samantha. That's Samantha. She goes that's Samantha. Samantha. Yeah. Can we, Dylan, hold on. Follow me. Go follow me. Come on, buddy. Go. Let's go. Oh, they're coming right away. Hey, girls. Wow. Hey, and they just, just come. Just that's in, that's incredible. Oh. <laughs> You're going to take it. Yeah, shutting it is fine. Look, Dylan. There you go. See? Wow. So this one's Gwyneth. Oh, I guess I didn't one. take enough. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Gwyneth's oh. the one. Oh, yeah. okay. Whoa. 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 Oh, I got both now. Oh, well, <laughs> that's, that's this one here. She's so aggressive and greedy. <laughs> that's it. Hey. Oh, you want some more? Hello, Gwyneth. Oh. There we go. Dylan, say hey, everybody. Wow. She's She's very very oh, he's right here. Okay. Uh, Show me a little bit. Better take a little bit more. Hold on. Hold that's on. Does it, it tickle, buddy? There's a baby here. Hey, that's hey, hey. Hi. Oh, right here. Hi. 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 Her name is Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hey, and that's Sweet right here. That's it. Hey, baby. Here, we got some of them. This girl's got no more. There's lots of food. And they wow, say, they're really? Hey, what's the baby? Victoria? Funny, but Victoria. Victoria. Hey, that's what's Lady A right in front of Lady A. I like you okay. too. Oh, no, okay. Let me get some more. This one here is so green. <laughs> they all are a little bit. Oh, I like this one. That's Matilda. Hi, Matilda. Hi, Matilda. Her mother is Martha. Now, they don't okay, always look okay. like their mother. Sometimes they're, you know, a black will give you a white animal, or a white oh, will yeah. give you a dark animal. Look at, you can't tell. Here. Hey, you're adorable. <gasps> there you this go. Is, yes, that's sweet. My son's girlfriend has a little five-year-old. Yep. And uh, she yeah, thought I'll get some more. Hold so I on. Said, I said you can name it. So like, she said, "What's the mom's name?" I said, "Sweet Sharon." Okay. Said, How about there you go. Oh, good for her. Five years old. Oh. Oh. Getting there. He was helping. You ate it all. You ate it all. Hey, I only got one hand. Hey. Go, go. Our necks feel so cool. Yeah, Don't you mind? Guys, I don't have any more. No, I don't got any more. I don't got any more. I don't have anything. That white thing bumped it from behind, so it spit. Oh, you're about. Oh, oh. oh, there you go, guys. We got lots. Uh -huh. Yeah, here. There you go. Here. Put, put it within my hand. No, it's okay. That really does tickle, though. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> you're all done? Put your hand in these sheeties. Can we walk over there? Yes, you can walk wherever you like. Can you poop in? Stop. Just careful where you walk. Okay. We're trying. Stay for it. Yeah, it is there. Gwyneth is very picky. Yeah, I know this. Like, well, there's more. Yeah, see what happens are that when they they hey. eat for a while and they wander away. Yeah. Of course, the little black one was bottle fed because she lost her mother when she was three months old. Aww. That little black one. So she's probably Dylan, you came feel a little soft there, buddy. This one. Uh, yeah, ebony. Yeah. Ebony. Look at. Look. That's feel lady. Yeah, she's beautiful. Feel soft there. Feel soft there. See? Feel soft. Yeah, but that's okay. But see how soft there. 
Yes, she is. Yeah. After you've bred them, you put the females back in with the male two weeks later. It actually spits at him and won't have anything to do with him. There we go. Yeah, see, you're calm. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, that's the baby. That's the baby. Very gentle. Gentle baby. Oh. Wow. That's oh. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Billy Bob, Billy Bob Thornton. Right? His mother is Bobby Joe. That's Billy Bob. <laughs> That's funny. His sister is Peggy Sue. <laughs> Peggy Sue had a little baby called Tommy Lee. <laughs> Tommy Lee. We were on a roll. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> You're fine. Hey. Oh, this is another baby too. That's Victoria. Ah. Born on Canada Day last year. Wow. Yep. <gasps> Hi. Yeah. No, after oh. a while they stop being hungry. They yeah. just had their feet. <laughs> All of them didn't get anything though. They don't, some of them don't come. No. They won't even come to you for it. Hey. Victoria oh. will. Looking for food? Yeah. Hey Victoria. <laughs> Oh, hear that? There's a muskrat in there. He's going to take a picture of all of us looking behind us. There. I'll stay right here. I can use the camera. Hey. Look. Hey. Look what Oma does. Look. Oh. I touch him right there. There. Mm -hmm. Look. Do you see them all out here, buddy? Just a little bit left. Go in. Your woman is a little bit left. Dylan. <laughs> no. Oh, Can you count them all? That one. Is there lots? To rest? That, okay. yeah. Well, to it's rest? German, but Jack the hey, you have been... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, 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 oh, you know him? Greedy. Jack? Greedy. He probably I want to be that. some more. Yeah. Did you know that guy, Jack the Graf? Pardon? He's the first big Brit. Is he I think he knows them all. Oh, I didn't know, eh? It's insane. Right, right. Right, don't get too close. You have to wait for it to come to you, buddy, okay? Oh, yeah, I know. Wow, eh? Yeah, oh, I'm going to have them. Oh, it's because Nono has the food. Van Ogilvy on the other side. Oh, Ogilvy? Yeah, they're the farm and that. It does feel a little weird and ticklish. In Brockville, and there's a big fire or something. In Lynn? And and they they lost they lost everything in the fire or they lost a bunch yeah. of ice. We came back here and bought this. You want some more? Here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> and wow. drives your car still and just yeah. If you see her, tell her see me see me like see. Say goodbye. Just come. Go and look at the. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> These are oh, yeah, all girls. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's this. This is. This is a girl. Oh. Her name is Samantha. And Victoria is a small little one. Yeah, that's yeah. She was born yeah. a year ago. Yep. And then there's Pixie, Sweet Pixie, Pixie, and Dixie are all out here. Pixie, <laughs> Pixie. Pixie had a name that's the baby. We had a, we had a name the baby Sweet contest Pixie. two or three years ago. This first girl oh, I, I pulled out of the hat. First one was Pixie. It. The next no one I pulled out was Trixie. No. Okay. So then we said we had a middle one. We said we'll call it Dixie. And then well, you have to, right? Exactly. And I'm then this little girl in Ottawa, she kept putting her own name in. She said, "My name is Gwyneth, and I picked Gwyneth." After the fourth baby was born, I just I didn't put her name in that. I said, you won. Oh. <laughs> and that's Gwyneth, that little greedy gray one. Yeah. Well, hey, she knows her name. Yeah, she's Hi, Gwyneth. Hi, Gwyneth. Yeah. Hi, Gwyneth. <laughs> older, older sister, she's like, I know. Five, some go a little bit longer than 30, yeah. but not often. Buddy. This wow. is Victoria. Look at that. That's Victoria. Older. She's 12 years old. Wow. Can you remember that? Yeah. So do you still have the first eight that you bought? Angel was one of the eight. Oh wow. Aww. And I'm just trying to think. Natalie was another one that was part of the eight. Um, Soleil was a baby uh, when we bought her. And she's over there, one of the whites. The whites we use because we some people like to dye the yarns, so they dye the whites to get the colored yarns. This is more than male that the twenty. No, they all do. Twenty females? So, uh, we have about twenty nine total. There's about twenty five females in here. Do you remember? These are boys. These are the two boys. I know. Hi. Oh, that one's pooping. Oh, he's pooping. Look, he's pooping. <laughs> Do you see, did you hear what he said, though? They only have certain spots that they poop in. 
Oh, Shouldn't so they go. poop right by the door. Right? <laughs> oh, he's gonna let the hens out, buddy. Just wait and see. The hens. Oh, there they are. Let's see if we got some eggs. <laughs> Try to no no so you can see. No eggs? Watch oh, yourself, yeah. no no. Oh, there's one. Look at the color of the egg. Oh, look at the eggs. Wow. And then these are the dark brown. Wow. Want to hold one? Oops. That was just late. It's nice and warm. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the this is the, the cleaning. The cleaning. So every animal uh -huh. is shorn and put into bags with their names on it. Right. And then what we have to do is clean it. Now this has already been cleaned. But this shows you what the fiber is. Whoa. Didn't touch it, did you? You touch it, feel how soft oh, it is, wow. buddy. Holy cow. And that'll be spun into Holy yarn. Is it wow. nice fiber? No. Yes. So this will be turned into... And what they're looking for, do you see almost like a zigzag in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is called crimp, and that's the best yarn. And this comes typically from the back of the animal to the ribs. It's called the blanket. Then they also shear the neck and the legs, and that's called seconds, which also makes yarn, but not as good quality yarn. Okay. Um, and then the stuff that's really small, like if it's a, sort of an inch to inch and a half, the small stuff gets put in bags and we felt it. And we turn it into the insoles for boots and oh. things of that nature mm. so you use like, everything you can of the animal yeah. wow. so it'll take us when we do an animal it takes us about eight hours to do one of these out so you have to pick out every piece of grass every piece of dirt and wow. so this still has to be done to show you what it, the difference is this has been cleaned wow and this is from pixie oh, he's out there easy. and there's to show you her blanket her blanket looks like this pixie. Yeah, you see oh, oh my. So you gotta see all this stuff? All yeah. that's gonna be pulled out by hand. hand. Yeah. Oh my pick gosh. It. Wow. Yeah, so pick it all hey, out. Shoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Karen now sit here with the radio on and do that all day. So that takes about a day an animal. We have thirty animals, so it's about a month's worth of work to get it done. Wow. Every day. You can guard in here. <laughs> this is the Hi, other Dexter. this is the other one. So this Hi. Is Dexter. Hi, Dexter. These ones are done, these are not done. Oh, all of these have to be done just like we're cleaning those. Oh. Wow. And so it takes real estate a fair amount of time. Now this is called, the type of construction this is, is called uh, post and beam construction. This is the way old barns were built 200 yeah. years ago. I mean, you know, I'll show you how it's done here. It's so nice in here. Oh, wow. So when you wow. do post and beam construction, this, this being your post and this is your beam, you cut at the end of it a tongue that's about this, just looks like that. And you, and you cut a hole in this side and you pound it in mm -hmm. that side with a sledgehammer until it goes all the way in. Once it's all the way in, you drill a hole through that post, through the tongue and out the other side, and you put a wooden dowel to lock it. Wow. And the whole barn's built like that. So at the top, there'd be 18 inch dowels like that coming from the sides, one of those cross pieces. And at the very top, you butt lap the two together and you lock it with a pin the same way. Wow. wow. Holy yeah. cow. So that's how we built it. So this is not that old then. No, we built this in 2007, 2008, roughly. Wow. Nice. I used to make maple syrup on a little lean-to, and then we said, oh, I'll fix it up. Yeah. Nice this is you guys know how maple syrup's all made. I don't oh, really yeah. explain all oh, yeah. that. Yeah. So that's the yeah. evaporator there. Right? Wow. Yeah, and it's wood-fired, and it's all, and all the pails are numbered, and we just gravity feed three or four trees into a pail. And and so the hoses are kept inside the pail, so it goes right to that number of the bush, and that number corresponds to those trees. Wow. How many trees do you have? Like, we tap only 200. We could tap okay. wow. several times that, but it it takes it just, I'm the only one doing it. So it's How enough for me to go pick up right 50 or 60 pails of that a day. Okay. I have a question for him first though. Do you see that big saw over there? Oh, on the wall? <laughs> on the wall. On the wall. No, but look on the wall. He's look on the wall, something. buddy. What do you think that saw is used to cut? Not wood. Oh, that one on the wall. It's not used for wood. Have you seen the movie Frozen? Yeah, no. No. He won't sit long. Ice. That's an ice. Ice. A what? An ice. Oh, ice. wow. For cutting blocks of ice. Wow. Okay. My father had that. He gave it to me. He said he used that as a boy, that particular saw. Big tongs hanging up. That's what oh, he used oh yeah. Wow, that's cool. Wow. 
And Karen uses the wood stove yeah. to cook. I got a bunch of those lamps. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful lamps. She right? cooks on the stove? I was going to say, wow. Well, that's wow. the oven on the right, right? So yeah, the, yeah. The wood box is on the left, and, the, and there's a lever that controls the heat going in. That's You can put crazy. your bread to warm it to stay warm in that, and because it's heated by the pipe going up. In the wow. Back. So that's a warmer. And then you can also fry right on top of the... Our two little males. Kick it. Kick it. So how long... Oh, Good so job. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you so much. Feel this. It's so soft. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look. Huh. Matilda. The good thing I don't. Sharon. Too bad I don't uh, knit anymore. Yeah. I could need you something. You don't use for anything else. Zodiac Angel. Wow. That has the names of the animals on it. But when you send it's it to so the hill, soft. This is the first thing you get from the mill. Hi. Hi. Hello. And this is called Hello. roving. I hear all the history, what he's done. Wow. <laughs> Kids hate <laughs> things. But then they found it was too far to drive back and forth in the winter. So they oh my gosh. to stay around here. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. This roving. So if you had a spinning wheel, yeah. you would then spin that into yarn. That wow. If you did that. And then the, the machines do it for us now. But we get some because we have some spinners that actually want that stuff. And then what we do is we then turn it into yarns. Oh, okay. And they're by animal, as you saw. Jazz would love these. I <laughs> know. I was going to show that then the yarns are all made by animals. So. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he was telling me some stories and I said, Are you having fun, Dylan? Is that fun, buddy? Yeah. What animals did we see? I don't know. Alpacas. Alpaca. What? Can you say alpaca? Alpacas. Right. Okay, good job, buddy. How many dogs did he have? Three. Four. 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 I didn't see the fourth one. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Every single time I don't make an outro for a video. So here we go. Um, we had so much fun at the alpaca um, farm. I don't I guess you would call it. Um, they call it the Paca Playground. That's kind of cool. I will put all their information in the uh, the description below. Um, please check them out. They are located in Sealy's Bay. Um, it is completely free. Just saying that right now. It is amazing. Yeah, we, we had so much fun. Uh, we, we'll definitely be going back. But I hope you guys like this video. And I will see you all in, in the next one. Until then, be confident, be strong, and be young. Peace. You know what, get in my lane, just give me the time and give me the place Taking a name and no one can stop me I ain't afraid, I'm going in Rocky And it's a shame they all want to copy But ain't no way to know the time